So you never want to pay for razor, deodorant, or toothpaste ever again. If that's you, keep watching this video. Hi everyone, and welcome to High Valley Couponer. So today I am here with a much like ready to do, I've been wanting to do this for so long, how to coupon video. For newbies, yes, you may be watching this in 2019 or 2020, this is mid 2019, so the info is still gonna be valid for the next couple years or so. Um, and yeah, this is happening, this is legit right now, I'm super pumped about it. So we're gonna talk about how to coupon in 2019 or 2020. Um, if you've been scrolling through YouTube and you've seen a huge list of tutorials, some of them are five or six years old. Thanks for picking mine because those are not relevant anymore. Things have changed. It's not like it was in 2010 or 2012 or 2015. Things have changed. Like let's say you, they're referencing about the red plum insert. There is no red plum anymore. So you see that and you're gonna be like, what the world does that mean? Um, you'll be looking for a red plum that don't exist. And rebate apps weren't even a thing back then and they're a huge deal now. So there are things that I wanna teach you all about on a relevant standpoint. But right now, there's no doubt about it, you're going to have all the info you need to make this happen. So that's what we're going to do. I'm really excited. So over the last five years, I have gotten hair care, deodorant, feminine products, which sure I'm a guy, but if it's free, I'm taking the feminine products home. I'll give them to people who can use them. Toothpaste, pasta, cereals, so many things. I mean so many things. Pain relievers, so many things for free. You can get so much for free. So I I'm really pumped. Um, if you wanna see how, let's just dive right in. So first up, there is a science to extreme couponing. There's a science. We wanna get the item at its rock bottom price. That usually means combining a sale or a rebate offer with a coupon, stacking the savings together and getting a deal. So let me give you an example of this. All laundry detergent at Kroger, which if you have Kroger or Kroger affiliate, I guarantee most of everyone has a Kroger affiliate. All was on sale, regularly $4.99. Kroger ran it on sale for $1.99, which that's already a huge discount. $1.99. We had a dollar off coupon. So we paid 99 cents out of pocket, which that's a stocker price. I had a dollar rebate on it as well with a limit of one. So I can only get the rebound on one of them. So it made one of them free and the rest of them were 99 cents. So uh, yeah, down from 4.99 to get these for 99 cents, that's a deal right there. And that's how we do this. If I just would've went in one day at 4.99, just use my dollar off coupon because I had it, I'd pay 3.99 for this and I'd get the dollar rebate to 2.99. So just because I was patient and waited, I saved an extra $2 on this just for waiting it out. That's crazy. I know an extra $3, I'm sorry, an extra $3. That's crazy. And that's the philosophy behind this. Every sale cycles every six to eight weeks. What does that mean? It's all gonna hit its rock bottom low price every six to eight weeks. For instance, all detergent or some branded detergent will be at $1.99 every six to eight weeks. It will. That's just how it's going to go after coupons or something. You'll be able to get this 99 cent detergent every six to eight weeks. So you need to figure out how much do I need to buy to last my family six to eight weeks. Let's say you use a bottle of this a week. You should be grabbing eight bottles in total as long as it follows the coupon limits. And we will get to that and how to work around that in just a second. But let me show you why that this is serious. You might be like, I don't really want to buy enough for six to eight weeks. Here's why you have to do this. I wrote this down so we could get there. If you just decided one week you were going to get one bottle at Kroger when it was free with the rebate, week one you got it for free. The other six weeks, these were $4.99, your coupon was expired, you would wind up paying $19.95 for five bottles of all. That comes to a total of $19.94. $19.95, I'm sorry. Or no, 1994, that's right. Sorry, my math. Um, 1994 for six bottles of detergent. If you do the stock up method, you got your bottle for free and you stocked up on the other five when they were 99 cents at the coupon, it was 494 for all that detergent for six bottles. 494 versus 1994. Which one are you gonna take there? I vouch for the 494 for six 
versus $19.94. That's $15 difference. That's how we do this, is stockpiling. It is so important. So, sometimes we do buy more than that for a couple reasons. One, we don't want to have to worry about buying it every six to eight weeks. Maybe we want to take a couponing break. Two, it's just such a good deal that you just want it. Or three, you know, you're going to donate it or it's your favorite brand or something like that. There's multiple reasons. I typically will buy more than six to eight weeks worth just to stock up, just to have it in case someone needs some or something like that. I'll, I'll grab extra. But um, yeah, you don't have to do that. Really, the rule of thumb is every six to eight weeks. Okay. But, so you might be thinking, how in the world do I find a stock up price? Well, if you follow a YouTuber, which we're going to list off a whole bunch of YouTubers in just a little bit. We're going to talk about them and you know how to shop with them and who gives you matchups because you don't have to do this on your own you don't have to do this math on your own you don't know it yet but there is a whole bunch of youtubers on here matching the sales up for you every week every day even there's people on here doing matchups you don't have to do it yourself you just find the store you want to shop find a youtuber who breaks down deals watch their video make your list and go you don't have to sit there matching up sales that's not your job that's what we do here on YouTube, totally free of charge. So yeah, we'll get to a good list of those in just a little bit. But um, yeah, but there also is a video I have here about stock up prices, my stock up prices. Keep watching in this playlist and um, there will be a bunch of videos here in this playlist that I'll reference to in this video. But if you just watch this, my entire playlist called How to Coupon, it'll take you through that, all the videos that I have linked in this playlist and I feel at the end, you'll be a pro on this. So directly after this video, there will be a video called My Stock Up Prices, and that'll go through all the things that I believe are a stock up price. And you'll also hear that in my videos. I'll tell you if it's a stock up price at my regular matchups. But watch that video too. It'll be in this playlist. Okay, so there are numerous, and I mean numerous, types of coupons that are out there. The main game that you probably thought of when you heard about coupons are newspaper insert coupons like this guy right here these come in your Sunday paper every week and these are critical these are the I've heard people say we don't need newspapers anymore yeah you do need newspapers to make this happen you can still coupon without them but you're not gonna be successful so there are lots of coupons in these things like here cover girl and I don't know, lots of random stuff. Um, General Mills coupons right there and cleaning coupons. Every week we get coupons, every single week. Um, except for holidays, which on my channel, every Friday, you will see what I call a coupon insert preview where I show you all the coupons coming in the inserts. I'll tell you how many inserts are coming. I do that every Friday. Um, at 11 a.m. Eastern that will be up on the channel. So if you're like, oh, what coupons are coming on Sunday? Check out that video. And if no coupons are coming on Sunday, I'll let you know that as well. But um, yeah, there are three different types of inserts we get right here. There is what is called the smart source. There is what is called the retail me not every day. There's also one called the PNG brand saver, which not only comes out once a month. These two typically come out every Sunday. So, that is what it is in the Sunday paper. There is a rule of thumb on newspapers. It is how many family members do you have in your household? So let's say you're a family of three. You need to get three papers, basically one per member of your household. Let's say you're a family of six. The rule of thumb there is to do no more than four papers because a lot of these coupons have limits on them and you're probably not gonna be able to use more than that but if you really got a big family you might want to go above the four thing but that has been the rule i've always heard buy one per family member but no more than four in um four like papers um there are multiple places you can get the sunday papers you can buy them online from insert sellers i don't do that i don't recommend that you don't know where they got it from. And personally, I think they overcharge on the inserts. I, I really believe they overcharge. So I would not go with one of the online insert sellers, but you could do that. You can go the old fashioned way, go pick them up on Sunday at the store. Everywhere sells them, Kroger, Walmart, 
Target, I'm sure, um, everywhere sells the paper. CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, all of them sell it. Um, also, on Mondays and some on Sundays, you have to check with your local store. Dollar Tree and Family Dollar sell the paper. Um, around here, they are released on Mondays. So Dollar Tree and Family Dollar get the reject papers in their stores. You can go pick them up there for a dollar on Mondays. That is a gamble that I don't like to take because if, let's say they sold them all on Sunday, Dollar Tree ain't getting them. So I'll be out of the paper that week. So my book, I just pick them up on Sunday and that's what I do. So yeah. Also, let's say maybe you don't feel like picking up four papers, ask friends and family. I only buy two papers a week because my um, great uncle gets the paper, but he doesn't use the coupons, so he gives me his coupons. And on Tuesdays, they randomly show up in the mail. I don't know why, but they do. So be on the lookout for that. Sometimes you get junk ads in the mail, look for coupons, because recently we have been getting these coupons in the mail. So you might want to check for that. Okay. Printable coupons are like epic. I love printables. There are multiple ways to get printables and I'm going to go ahead and flip you over to the computer and show you that kind of stuff. We are going to start out on my website, ohiovalleycouponer.com. In my opinion, my site, and I know, I know how it could sound. I've watched YouTube videos where people are trying to sell you stuff. I promise I'm not selling you anything um, at all. On my website, though, I am a part of an affiliation thing with the biggest coupon printing site, which is coupons.com. It's free of charge to you. Basically, when you come to my website and print the same coupons you would get on coupons.com directly, I get a small little commission. So it does nothing different for you. Um, you just come on my site and print the coupons you want. So this is coupons.com. It is definitely the best site out there for printing coupons, like by far. There's not a better site than that. They have tons of coupons on here, 97 to be exact. Lots of them. You can divvy them out by categories. So apparel, um, babies, beverage, food, personal care are all on here. The best time to come. I do videos every Sunday morning. Sunday mornings are when we get the newest printable coupons on here. We'll get a couple of little ones during the week. But usually Sunday mornings we get a bunch of new printable coupons. Here they'll even tell you coupons that are expiring soon. So yeah, this is on my website and I will always have the link to that down in the description box below for you to check out. All the links will be in the description box below. Um, so that is on my site. Tons of printables there. An important thing to know here is you can print two identical internet printable coupons per um, address, IP address. So you print one, you select it, you click print, it'll print, and then it'll allow you to go back and clip it one more time and get another print. After that, it'll say print limit reach, so you won't be able to print anymore. And that's the rule on every site. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Hey, there's coupons.com. There's also a new one on my site, redplum.com. This one is brand new. It's really, really great. I am, um, I am working to get some more affiliates on my site, so keep in mind there could be some new ones by the time you see this. This is Red Plum. It's the same kind of deal. They have coupons on here. These will ask you to install a software to your computer. It is 100% safe. It's not risky at all. It won't hurt your computer. It's 100% safe. You can install it. Be aware there are some out there that are scams. Like it'll say get free Charmin toilet paper or get free blah, blah, blah. Don't do those. They're, don't do those. Those are scams. Only do them from trusted sites. Anything you see on my site, I promise you, is legitimate. You're never going to worry about it being fake. So, um, yeah, keep that in mind. Okay, another site is smartsource.com. This is not on my site. This is just on its own, which I'll have it in the description box below. Smartsource. There's lots of coupons on here. Same kind of deal. You click the coupon you want. You click print, and that's how you do it. This has you install Adobe Reader, which, again, another really safe, safe device. So you want to do that. Okay, we also have PNG, PG Every Day. These are Procter & Gamble coupons. So as you can see here, $2 on Tide, $2 on Tide Pods. Those are some coupons that you can grab there. We also have Common Kindness, which Common Kindness is healthy product coupons. So like, um, it's bringing me to that here. Lots of coupons um, for healthy stuff, organic stuff. So if you're into that, this is a good site. And link to that will be down in the um, description. 
thing we're going to talk about is a coupon database and databases are amazing um there are multiples out there but i have to admit southern savers definitely is the best database like for sure theirs is the most thorough it's just simply the best so let's talk an example you might be thinking what is a coupon database this database has every known coupon out there for a product so let's say you're looking for a big razor coupon type in big razor it brings up every Bic Razor coupon out there, as well as rebates and printables and even insert coupons and digital coupons. So you need Bic Razors. Okay, there's a $2 off Bic Silky Touch printable. There is a $3 off um, Bic Soleil printable. There's also a checkout 51 rebate for Walmart. There are digitals at Walgreens and Winn-Dixie and all sorts of places. So you are able to see Every Bic Razor coupon known to man. Let's say also you want Char Wafers. Oh, look, they got the $2 off Char product coupon right here. You Basically, all you have to do is you click on the link. And her site is going to send you over there to Char. Right here, to the Char site for you to print your coupons. Seriously, that plain and simple. That is so cool. You also can do this with newspaper coupons. So let's say you're looking for a Bengay coupon. It's going to tell you we have a $3 off, oh, I typed the wrong thing, a $3 off Bengay coupon from the 616 SS. SS means smart source, which we'll get a little bit more into the insert um, lingo. Uh, basically, smart source. SS is smart source. RMN is Retail Me Not, and PNG is the PNG brand saver. So whenever you see 616 SS, that means that came in the 616 paper. And I'll show you in a second how we organize all that. So that's the database, and that is really cool. All right, and I got to do a disclaimer. You cannot, under any circumstance, photocopy a coupon. That is a big no-no. That's never allowed. You can never photocopy coupons. That's no way. That'll get you in big trouble. Um, because on those coupons, they have a little IP address tracked on there. And if you go copying it, they'll find out and you'll actually get your printing like blocked. You won't be able to print anymore on your computer. They will find out. And that's why I always advise, if you find a printable coupon laying in the store, never, ever, ever use it. Never use it. So if you copy those, you get in big trouble. So you can get around this though, since they have two per device. You can go print on your iPhone, you can go print on your iPad, on your tablet, on your computers, just two per device. So you definitely can get around that. All right, next are in-store coupons. We're gonna talk now about in-store coupons because um, those are everywhere, believe it or not. First up, you find coupons directly from the ad. And yes, those expiration dates are way old. This is from my old, super old how to coupon series from like three years ago. But the pictures are still relevant. These coupons are in the wall, like store ads every week. So Walgreens does it. Um, Rite Aid does it. Kmart does it. Um, Target. Target does too. A lot of stores have in-ad coupons that you just hand to the cashier and they scan it. That's a really cool thing that a lot of people are doing now. Um, let's see what other kinds of coupons we have. Okay, here's another type. These are called hang tag coupons. If you can see right there, it's literally hanging right off of the product. It's hanging on the product. You have to remove it off the product. It's on a little rubber band thing wrapped around the product. That is called a hang tag coupon. So if you ever hear anyone refer to that, that is what it is called. Um, that's Yeah, this is what it looks like. And that's, see, that little rubber band thing around it. Okay, this is called a tear pad coupon. A tear pad coupon is located really, really close to the product and you literally just tear it off of that pad. Um, and in my opinion, if you find any of these coupons, you're more than welcome to take them. There's no rule saying you can't take the coupons for later use. You don't have to use it today. You can use it another time. Just keep the coupons with you and organize them, which we'll talk about in a second. So you're allowed to take any of those coupons. And there it is. See, you just tear it off. Okay, this type of coupon is called a peely. If you can see it on that little right corner, it says peel here. There are coupons that you peel off of the product and redeem at the store. Um, yeah, they're affixed to the product. These are kind of annoying. You have to take them off. But peelies are very, very common. Um, that's probably the most common in-store one I can think of as a peely. Okay, so that's more what it looks like. This is called a blinky coupon. 
The reason why is you, it's in this little machine. It's called a smart source coupon machine. It's in this little machine at the store, and you take one out. When it prints another one out of that machine, it blinks. That's why we call it a blinky. It's a little red light. It blinks as it spits out another coupon. Um, these are kind of slow and kind of annoying, but you can get some good coupons out of them, so I definitely would recommend that. So just a quick recap. In-ad coupons are found directly in a store's ad. Hang tag coupons are hanging off of a product. Tear pads can be torn off of a stack of coupons. Peelies are coupons that directly peel off the product. And a blinky is a coupon machine that blinks when it deposits coupons. So that is all about in-store coupons. Okay, so we're gonna start out on Kroger. Kroger is awesome. They have so many digital coupons. All you gotta do is just click on the save tab on their site and it'll take you to all the digitals. They have legit so many digitals. And I love Kroger digitals so much. So look at this right here. This is a pure example of a deal. $4 off of any two Colgate, Total SF, Optic White, Enamel Health, or Sensitive. $4 off two. All I gotta do is click load the card. And it's loaded on my Kroger card. It'll even tell me the products that the coupon is valid on. So anything under here, if it says it works on it, there you go. Um, and a really fun thing about this. I know for a fact in tomorrow at Kroger on Wednesday, um, the deal won't be valid when you all see this video. Just an example. Colgate toothpaste is going to be on sale for $1.99. And this $4 off two coupon will make it free. So that's a good example. Kroger has so many digitals. Um, they do best customer bonuses, which they base that off of things you've bought in the past. They'll give you coupons for that um, on your digital account. They run 5X events, which are Kroger store coupons. Um, and they allow you to use them five times in a single transaction. If it says 5X event... Um, those are store coupons and you actually can use a manufacturer coupon along with a store coupon. You can't just use regular digitals with a store or manufacturer's coupon. If it says 5X event, that means it's a store coupon and it can be used with the manufacturer's coupon. So there's really good click list offers. Kroger runs really amazing digital coupons. They have so many. Um, another good store that does this is Dollar General. And the cool thing about Dollar General is they do these five off 25 scenarios. Fun thing is it's $25 before your manufacturer's coupons. So as long as it's $25 before coupons, the five off 25 will come off in addition to other digital coupons as well. And there are great YouTubers on here who maximize this. And I'm going to tell you those in just a second. Okay. Um, another cool thing here is um, Family Dollar does it. Target has it with their cartwheel program. CVS, Walgreens, HEB, Rite Aid, Kmart, um, ShopRite, Stop and Shop, and even a lot of stores do digital coupons now. Um, one that I know about that I use a lot, Joann Fabrics. Joann's has so many digital coupons on there. Like Joann's is awesome about digitals. Lots of stores do it. JCPenney, Kohl's, they all have coupons. Literally, everyone has coupons. So get apps and do digital deals these are just two i showed you but like i said all those stores run them check your local stores and see all right so now if you're a brand new person to couponing this is going to be the one for you this is kelsey b saves which is a youtuber on here who did this really awesome series a few months ago about co um, companies that sent me coupons in the mail let me give you some examples of like what kelsey did to make this happen um let's skip over here so like she emailed companies like she emailed sure deodorant and said hey i really like your products do you have any coupons they mailed her some coupons so a bunch of companies literally did this and i actually did a bunch of the companies too and i got the same coupons so like la tortilla factory they sent her a free product coupon just for emailing them just for saying hey do you send out coupons they sent free coupons in the mail and it's amazing. So Frito-Lay did it. Chobani, Chobani sends out a ton of coupons. Um, amazing, amazing people. Um, she emailed Pepperidge Farm, Back to Nature, Smashmallow, CeraVe, Earth's Best, Nissen, Pop Chips, tons. I mean, tons of companies. Like here's another one just to show you some examples here. Um, Look at that. Huge stack. S water coupon for free. Just literally 
tons of coupons. All you do is you shoot them an email and I'm actually gonna even walk through it with you real quick and show you how to do this. Oh, this is my favorite, the free Stoffers one. That was so fun. Um, so let me just go walk you through one real quick. Stoffer, they're gonna ask for your email and everything. I'm not gonna show you all that because I don't think there's anything you need to know. Put your address there, your city, your state, your postal. I never did the phone number and here it just says topic. I just click general questions. And here's what I'd say, hello. I really like your products. If you have a, a special product, a specific one you like, tell them. I love your Wales crackers. I admire the many varieties of products your company makes. Do you possibly ever mail out any coupons to your customers as a one-time courtesy? Thank you so much for your time. That's it. Send them that. Boom. They'll email you back. Some companies might stop. They might not send you anything. Sometimes they might. It kind of is a hit or miss thing. But Kelsey and her series was so awesome and went through here and linked the companies. So like you literally can just go to her site and click on the link, which I could have done with the stoffers, but I was clueless and didn't. So like with El Monterey, you just click on her link. And it takes you directly to their site to ask for, you know, the contact us. Kelsey did that series. She had like eight parts. You should go binge watch them all because as a newbie couponer, you can like crush it with these coupons. I will have her playlist linked in the description box below as well as I will um, try. Can I add it to a play to my own playlist? Yes, I can. So I'll have her videos added to this playlist as well so you all can binge watch this series and start emailing companies for coupons. Those will be um, in this playlist as well, so you can check that out. So yeah, that's a great way. If you're a newbie couponer, you can start building up a little coupon collection without newspapers or anything, just by emailing the companies and they'll send you coupons and it's just, it's gonna be awesome. So for sure, take advantage of that. That trips a lot of people up. Look at this little thing right here. Limit one coupon per purchase. I've had people tell me, oh, if it says one per purchase, that means I can only use one. No, 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 no. That means you can only use one manufacturer's coupon per item you're purchasing. So I can't go in and use this $2 off gain coupon and this $3 off gain coupon on the same item. Like, no way. You're not allowed to do that. This just means you can only use one manufacturer coupon per item. Now read this down here. Limit of one coupon per household per day. That means you can only use one of these coupons per day. That's the distinction there. That's what that means. So don't get tripped up on that. Like here's another good example. Limit one coupon per purchase on these Special K bars. Limit of four light coupons per shopping trip. That means you can only use four of them. But it doesn't just mean you can use one. Okay, so now that you've got your coupons right here, and you've been printing coupons and you have been um you've been printing coupons and you've been emailing companies what do i do with all these coupons so their first thing we're not going to do is we're not going to go cut the ones out of here we think we're going to use and then just toss the rest no 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 we don't do that we keep them intact forever until they all expire we keep them all we don't throw them away you never know what's going to be free or a money maker so you don't want to do that so keep that in mind Okay, but there's three different methods, or no, I'm sorry, four that I have done, but there is no right or wrong. There's um, every person's gonna have their own method that works the best for them. So I'm gonna show you multiple ways now. First up, when you think of coupons, let's edit that out because I don't wanna show them. First up, when you think of coupons, I bet you're thinking of this little coupon accordion file. You divvy it up by category. Um, this isn't the worst idea, but in my book, it didn't last me no time. It really didn't last me no time because we're getting so many coupons every week that this don't last. However, if you're going to do the next method I'm talking about, I actually would encourage you to go with this as well. This method is called the clipless method. Basically what you're going to do in the clipless is you get something like this, an accordion file folder. You're going to open it up and you're gonna drop your inserts down in there based on the week. So um, one file will be the seven, seven smart source or the seven, seven inserts, however you wanna do it. You just drop it down in seven, seven, boom, you're done. That's it. You 
what you'll do is when you see me do matchups or any one of us do matchups, we'll tell you, oh, that coupon came in the 616 Smart Source. You go to your 616 Smart Source, cut out your one coupon, that's all you do. You don't cut them all out ahead of time. A lot of people like that method because I'm a person who's visual and I need to see it. So I tried two other methods in conjunction. This is kind of a mess, but I'm gonna show it anyways. This is called the coupon box method. I got this box at Hobby Lobby. What a lot of people do is they will take these little thingies right here, um, like these little file folders, mini file folders, and they'll have this. This one was for laundry products. You'd slip your laundry coupons in, you'd pull it out in the store, you'd look through all your laundry coupons. Not a bad method. It's kind of like, in my book, it's kind of like this, just with a ton of room, and it's not gonna get over full. Let me get it open for you and I'll take you through the binder so you can kind of see what this thing is all, all about. So, the binder method. Let's talk about it. Okay, so this is the binder method. I have it into numerous categories. Mine actually is a four inch binder. You don't have to take it that big, but for me, I have so many coupons I need to. So like here, I have all my cereal and oatmeal coupons on this page. Um, this is my breakfast category. I have numerous categories. Um, I have baking and condiments, breakfast, beverages, candy and snacks, dairy, freezer, fridge, um, packaged goods, cleaning, laundry, paper products, pet supplies, cold medicines, eye care, um, like stomach medicines, pain medications, hair care, oral care, all, all sorts of categories. You can get as specific as you want. I have a whole entire video about it on my blog or my YouTube and I have a blog post. So you definitely can get more specific, but I love this cause see, here's a Peely, here's a hang tag, here's another Peely, here's some newspaper coupons. Here's a coupon they sent me in the mail. Yeah, if I do the whole inserts, I can do my inserts. Where does the printables go? Where does the Peelys and stuff go? So I really like the binder. The thing with the binder that gets time consuming is you're literally taking all of these coupons and you're cutting them up and you're putting them in here. Every single one of them. There's no holding it back. You put them all in. Um, something you can either do it with scissors or you can do a paper cutter. That would work as well. Um, I like this method for a couple different reasons. Um, you can see them all. You do have to go through and throw away the expired coupons. I do that every two weeks. Um, you just put them in here and it is, it's, when you're in the store, it's very easy. And if you run across a clearance deal, you got your coupon. If you just do the whole insert and cut what you need for that trip, if you run into clearance, you're not, you're out of luck. Or if you didn't plan for something, you're out of luck. With the binder, it's all right here. If you have a coupon for that product, it's in here. So yeah, that is the binder method. You kind of have to figure out what's best for you. For me, I don't like the cutting out ahead of time. I like having them all cut in that binder. I'm looking for a coupon. I flip to it in the binder and it's that plain and simple. That's what I personally love about the binder. So that's what I always recommend to people. But I know for some people you don't have the time for that and that's too overwhelming for you. So, you know, you might want to steer clear of that. Sorry, I'm trying to get the, um, the tripod adjusted, right? Okay. Um, so you have to just do what, what works for you, what you feel. Okay, another huge thing. You might be thinking, whoa, I've got all these coupons. How do I utilize them? How do I know when to use them? I don't wanna do all that work. You don't have to do all that work. That's what all of us here on YouTube do for you. There are countless YouTubers out there who do this free of charge for you all, matching up deals and telling you what's a good buy price. And I have actually wrote a few of them down so you can kind of pick the store you wanna do. So um, I'm gonna go through that list and the first thing um, I would recommend, do not feel entitled to shop at all these stores. That is insane. You don't need to shop at all those stores. I have laid out a really good time frame for you on what you should do. So, within five weeks, you'll be a pro. But the first two weeks, like let's say you just start couponing today, I'd recommend you head over to Kroger as your starting couponing store. If you don't have Kroger, just pick your local grocery store you go to. Make it simple. Don't go too far out of your, your normal realm of where you shop. Pick a grocery store and start saving there. So the first two weeks, what I tell you to do, come on over to my channel, watch my Kroger matchups video. It goes up every single Wednesday night. Watch the best deals at Kroger. Make your list and then you go out on, um, you know, whatever day you're watching this and you go get yourself some deals. That plain and simple. Um, 
it's awesome. So I definitely, the first two weeks, Kroger or your local grocery store. When you hit week three and you're feeling like I'm getting the hang of this, I kind of understand stacking coupons and sales. That's what I'd recommend you add in a super store or a um, dollar store type thing. So either Walmart or I would pick Dollar General or Family Dollar. Um, people love Dollar General, Family Dollar because it's pretty easy and pretty simple with the digital coupons. But I really think Walmart honestly tends to have better deals. You can get a lot more for free at Walmart. But um, I would recommend you do your local grocery store or Kroger, you know, and then add in a super center type place or a dollar store would be what I'd recommend. And then you've hit week five and you're raring and you're ready to go and you just want more, right? That's where you're gonna add in a drug store. And in my opinion, CVS or Walgreens would be the good one. Rite Aid, if you still have it, can be good, but not always. So you kind of just gotta play it, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend starting with Rite Aid. Probably CVS seems to be the most consistent. Um, so the fifth week, you're going to do Kroger, Walmart, or a dollar store, and then a drugstore. And if you want, feel like you need to add in more than that, you can, but I don't really personally believe you need to. I actually believe that you'll wind up getting so much in the drugstores, you'll eventually drop the drugstores, which is what I've done. Um, but to, when you're first starting out, these drugstores are a phenomenal place to build your personal care stockpile, which we're going to um, get into that in just a second. Okay, but... Back to what I said about how do you find deals. That's our job. So we're going to go through. I have a big old list of people. And then I'm sure there are other YouTubers out there. I'm just forgetting. These are the ones that came to my head as soon as I started. So let's just do that. Okay. So for Kroger, yours truly does lots of Kroger stuff all week long. Wednesday, I talk about Kroger. Friday, I do the weekend sale videos. Or thir you might see it on Thursday. Um... Saturday to the ad previews. Kroger is my like niche on this channel. It's Kroger, Kroger, Kroger. So if you have a Kroger, I'm gonna hook you up on Kroger. Walmart, I also do Walmart a couple times a week, various days. Running Kimono talks about Walmart. Sometimes Savvy Coupon Shopper talks about Walmart. These are all good YouTubers to just go subscribe to so you can have them on your list. HEB, which is a Texas grocery store, Kelsey B. Saves does good stuff over there. ShopRite. Um, I don't know if anyone does ShopRite consistently anymore. I know LA Savings 8 touches on ShopRite. Um, and LA Savings 8 also does weekly stuff about Stop and Shop. So you might want to check the, her out. CVS. I'm going to give you a big old list of people for CVS because a ton of people talk about CVS. Savvy, um, Savvy Coupon Shopper. And I'll have all these people linked in the description box below. Clean Cut Couponing, Gina Schweppe, My Own Identity, and LA Savings 8. All do CVS like every week. So really good ones to watch. Walgreens. And then Too Bright Saves. She is really good for newbies. If you're heading into that, we're going on our five week plan here. If you hit week three, or I'm sorry, week five, and you're like, I'm ready to do this drugstore thing, because drugstores are complicated, go to Too Bright Saves. Because she has every week newbie scenarios. So if you're a new person, just decide I wanna shop at Walgreens this week, she has it set up for you, like so easy. And you can do it if you mimic her breakdown, you can go to Walgreens and get the deal she posts. So she is really good for beginner stuff. Okay, Rite Aid, um, Michelle's Frugal Living and Patel7 Ravi post all about Rite Aid. You can catch Ravi more on Instagram though, but he does get on YouTube as well. Um, Dollar General is a very, very popular store. So, Krista Coupons is always on top of Dollar General every single week. Meeks Coupon Life and Financial Phoenix all talk about Dollar General. Um, so, yeah, you can find a lots of different... And it's good to watch multiple people because they can give you different breakdowns and different ideas. Um, Target, Savvy Coupon Shopper and Gina Schweppe all talk about Target. Family Dollar, um, Shop with Sarah, faithfully talks about Family Dollar, and Meek's Coupon Life. Um, sometimes um, Nicole Burgess, or Burgess, I don't know how to say her name, I'm sorry if you're watching or how they Dutch you are, but um, she's another really good Family Dollar YouTuber. Um, Dollar Tree, Meek's Coupon Life, hits that place up all the time. And Publix, Meek's Coupon Life also hits Publix up a lot. I don't think anyone else does Publix. 
So like I said, do not shop at all these stores. You will get burned out so fast. And there's um, lots of other YouTubers who come on with like I bought a hauls and stuff. Mama Big Coupons is another one. Kelsey B Saves, which we've talked a lot about her, but she does I bought a stuff. So there's lots of great YouTubers on here that you can check out and you can watch. Um, did I say for CVS, my own identity? She does really good CVS stuff too. I, if I didn't say that, I'm sorry. I had it wrote down. Okay, so pick your stores and each week watch our deals and make a list based on what you want. So write down a list. Oh, I'm going to go here. I'm going to get this. Get your coupons ready and go. It's that simple. Um, you don't have to sit there matching up everything. That's not, you don't want to spend your time doing that. I wouldn't want to spend my time doing that either. Um, you know, we can do that for you and watch us and we'll get you where you need to go on a very easy basis. Like you'll have no problem finding lots of deals every week just on YouTube. Also, I'd recommend getting an Instagram, maybe opening up one just for couponing because there are so many people on Instagram. If you just do hashtag extreme couponing or hashtag couponing community, you're going to find so many deals on there. It's awesome. So do that. Okay. The aftermath. This is our next little topic and it is epic. This is one of the things that have changed the most and it is rebates. Now you're probably thinking, I don't want to do rebates. I don't want to mail stuff in. It is shifted. We don't do mail in rebates anymore. Everything has gone digital, which is so nice for a couple reasons. One, saves you so much time. Two, you don't have to wait on it anymore like we did. And three, it's free. There's no cost of postage. So it's really cool. It has shifted into numerous apps and online programs. So I'm going to give you a list. Ibotta, Kroger Cashback, Checkout 51, Swagbucks, Saving Star, Fetch, Shopkick, and My Points. All those are apps you want to download now and get started. Down in the description box below, I have referral videos, all or referral links, I'm sorry, about these apps. If you put in my code, we'll both get extra points. It helps me out. It allows me to continue to bring these videos. It's free to you. It's just a friend code type thing. You enter it in and it helps me out. So if you'd be so kind to do that, I'd appreciate it. Um, I also have tutorial videos up about how to use each of these apps. I couldn't fit them all in this video. So if you keep watching this playlist, there will be a tutorial video that will just take you through all the apps. And you'll be able to see everything. How to find offers, how to use it, how to redeem rebates. It's so simple. So you're going to love that. This has really been a major game changer for couponing. It really adds on to our deals all the time. So let me give you an example. The Right Guard deodorant, the Sport deodorant is $1.97 at Walmart. This, that, this happened a couple weeks ago. We had a dollar off Right Guard Sport coupon. So we paid $0.97 cents out of pocket. But Ibotta gave us a dollar rebate back. So you paid 97 cents out of your pocket. You got a dollar back in your pocket. So it's free. Does that make sense? You paid 97 cents and they gave you back a dollar. So you didn't lose anything. It's free. So that is really cool. That kind of stuff happens all the time. And that's really how we get most of our deals is stacking coupons with rebates. You're not always going to have 100% free out of pocket but you will get the money back in rebates. And I have tutorials up all about these apps that you can see. Okay, and another thing is in-store rebates, and these happen specifically at the drugstore all the time. So let me give you an example. Do I have a product in here to give you an example of? Okay, let's say these fruit snacks right here at CVS are on sale for $2.00, you have a dollar off coupon. So you pay a dollar out of your pocket. You pay that dollar to the cashier. On your receipt, it prints out a dollar off coupon off your next purchase. This is called an extra buck. At Rite Aid, it's called bonus cash. At um, Walgreens, it's called balance points. And at Kroger, they're called Catalinas. Different names for each store, but you'll get the hang of it. So you paid a dollar, you got a dollar back in extra bucks. So essentially, you, again, you paid a dollar out of your pocket. You got a dollar back to use in CVS. That's free. Here's how CVS YouTubers bank on this every week. Get it, go to the next transaction, buy another one. Two dollars, you use your dollar off coupon, and you use your dollar CVS store credit. You pay zero, and you get another dollar back. So free. That is called rolling. They do that every week. Some, I mean, obviously they're going to have more than a dollar in ECBs to go in, extra bucks, but 
you will quickly get the hang of that. I'm not, drugstores are not really so much my thing anymore um, because I have so much stuff, but you will definitely get the hang of that as long as you watch these YouTubers every week. So it's awesome. Um, it's awesome. Another thing I want to touch up on with these rebates, with the apps, not with CVS, with the apps, is sometimes they give us bonus offers. And bonuses are awesome. It's like, I bought it right now. Um, this isn't current. You're not seeing this. That's how I filmed it. But they have three different bonuses up right now that all stack together. There's a bonus for $3 if I do eight rebates. Another bonus for $5 if I do 15 rebates and another one for $5 if I do 12 rebates. So if I get 15 rebates total, I'm getting back three, five, and five, $13 in bonuses just for doing 15 rebates. So yeah, that really, really helps um, get you there. It's extra money on top of the stuff you're getting anyways. It's so cool. I love it. So yeah, that is pretty much, in a nutshell, how to coupon. You will continue to learn so much more as you keep going. I have lots of videos in this playlist to kind of take you through it. We're going to go through this. This is just the intro, a little crash course to get you all started. In this playlist that you're currently in, there will be tutorials for all the rebate apps. There will be Kelsey's um, emailing videos for you guys to get started on that. You know, you're going to get this. You really will. I'm confident that after this video you can do couponing. You can be one of us. You can go in and get stuff for free. You can go get paid money out of the store with rebates and everything through coupons. It's amazing. You are gonna, you know, if you need to save money, maybe you're trying to go on vacation or something, this is gonna do it. Maybe you're trying to get out of debt. I had someone tell me they literally got debt free. They literally eliminated all their debt after watching my videos and watching other people's videos and couponing. Couponing paid their debt off. This can be you. I know it seems like you probably you probably have this. Oh, it's 25 cents off. No way. It is so much more than that when you really do couponing the right way. And that's the main thing I want to emphasize. So yeah, that is all I have. And I really hope this helped. If you have any questions, I'm always open to questions. Leave them down in the comments below. I will gladly help you all out. So thank you all so much for watching and happy couponing.